we're back. Today I'm going to make a soap for my sister. My sister has the honey business that we had growing up. Um, my dad is a second generation beekeeper and so my sister the third. We have bees but we don't do it for business so she's a third business owner beekeeper. But I wanted to highlight her products. So in this batch I have chunks of coconut oil is what that is. Um, it's not quite dissolved. But I'm going to blend. Okay, we are just emulsified. Um, I am going to use this soap to showcase some of her ingredients. And two of those ingredients are her beeswax and honey. And this is watered down. Put this in. And her beeswax and honey. And then uh, some cream from my cow this morning. This is going to be, one of these soaps is going to be oatmeal, milk, and honey. And the other one is not going to have the oatmeal in it. And I'm going to attempt to split this in half. Let me grab my scale. Half the recipe. Okay. Okay. I got these divided within an ounce or two of half in. This one, I'm gonna pour off some into this pot for the gold swirl that I wanna put in it. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of titanium dioxide. This is just mixed with a little bit of safflower oil. I'm gonna hand stir it and then I'm going to give it a whirl with a stick blender. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. All right. And then I need to mix the okay, slide in this I'm going to pour in my white to do a spoon swirl because I have not remembered to buy chopsticks yet and it was too thick to do what I wanted to do. The top of this one, I am going to spoon swirl, but not yet. I'm going to get the other one in the mold before I can't. Oh, look at that. Okay. This one has the oats on the bottom. I'm going to get that stirred in good. And this one is totally plain on the inside. And on top, I'm going to do a little bit of decorating. Just want to make sure I get all of those oats. For me, the 
this kind of flattens it out a little bit better. None of this is going to be visible in the end, but I get knocked down the tall stuff. I'm going to have pretend honeycomb on this side. And obviously this is just bubble wrap. And then on this side, I'm going to give the fork drag marks. I think I'm going to wipe it off in between so it doesn't keep building up soup. I wonder if it would work. Now the point of this is, one, to give texture and hold on to the two ingredients. One is the oats and I think I go right along the outside with those. I should lighten up a little bit on this. But I'm not going to in case they too many fall off when I'm cutting. These are just plain rolled oats. And I really want anyone to know that buys it that this soap has oats in it. Obviously the label will say it, but some people don't do well with oats. So I want it to be an obvious thing as well. And the other ingredient is some of my sister's bee pollen. I'm really excited about this one because of the color rays that are on here. Okay, so this is the oatmeal milk and honey and it has her honey, beeswax, and bee pollen in it and the cream from our farm. And then this one is going to get the spoon swirl. Alright, I just toothpicked that one to make it lay down a little bit better and now I'm gonna give it a spoon swirl. We're back to cut. I'm gonna, it's slightly soft, so I might not be able to. The rest of it doesn't feel this soft, but because the plastic's on here, we didn't get a chance to dry out. We've been getting so much rain that I'm dealing with humidity in the um, dehumidifier has been running non-stop. This one's just plain inside. A little bit of oats. This is the oatmeal milk and honey. That was
was yeah. fun. This is, like I said, a, a custom order for my sister for her honey business. And I forgot to mention that the pollen was also from her farm. So the beeswax, honey, and pollen from her farm, the cream from ours, and that was a lot of fun to make. Thank you for joining me, and we will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.